The Israelites were living in Egypt, but not because they wanted to. No, the Egyptians had taken them captive and were making them work very hard as their slaves. But God cared about the Israelites, so he sent Moses to lead them out of Egypt and into their own land, the Promised Land. When Moses died, Joshua became Israel's new leader. Do I know you? I'm the narrator. Oh. So off they went. After 40 years, the Israelites were finally going to their new home. With a big grin, Joshua led his people into the Promised Land. Unfortunately, he overlooked one little detail. Jericho. Who are you? Who are we? I think we should ask, who are you? Oh, um, I am Joshua, and these are the children of Israel. Oh, hello, children. You can never get over our giant wall, tiny picker. Yes, tiny picker. You are not a mighty deal. You are just a baby gherkin. I'm a cucumber. <laughs> Lee, you coward! I you may have your gun, but we have our wall! <laughs> Things weren't going as smoothly as Joshua had hoped, so the Israelites decided to pull back and talk things over. That's a big wall. This time, I really mean it. We should go back to Egypt. Huh? We were in slavery. Nothing is perfect. Well, Joshua didn't know what to do, and he could see that things were getting a little out of control. Then he remembered that whenever Moses didn't know what to do, he would go and talk to God. I'll be right back. So Josh went away from the camp to see if he could hear God. After he had gone a ways, he saw a strange man with a sword. Josh realized that this was a messenger from God, so he immediately fell face down on the ground in reverence. I come with directions from the Lord. Great. What are they? The Lord says to you, Joshua, see, I have delivered Jericho into your hands. March around the city once with all your men. Do this each day for six days. Have seven priests carry trumpets of ram's horns in front of the ark. On the seventh day, march around the city seven times with the priests blowing the trumpets. When you hear them sound a long blast, have all the people give a loud shout and the walls of the city will collapse and Jericho will be yours. Josh went back to camp and told the plan to the rest of the Israelites. The walls of the city will collapse, and Jericho will be yours. So, we're supposed to hop around the city for seven days, blow our little horns, yell, and the walls are just gonna fall down. Yep, those are God's directions. Last call for Egypt. Who's coming with me? What we need is serious firepower. Cherry the Curtain! Ooh. How are we clapping? I have no idea. As your new leader, I think we should try doing it God's way first. Well, God's way still sounded kind of funny, but the Israelites agreed to give it a try. And the next morning, there they were, marching around Jericho. It wasn't long before the people of Jericho noticed the Israelites. But he is. 
Israelites remembered that they were following God's directions, and they kept on marching. Six days they marched, and nothing could stop them. On the seventh day, just like God had told them, they marched around Jericho seven times while the priests blew their horns. And just like God said, when they finished marching, the priests blew one long blast and then all the people yelled. And God has given us this land! So the Israelites obeyed God, and the walls fell down. Finally, after 40 years, they were in their new home. Oh, boy, did I pick a lousy day to wear my contacts!